Hello, Pastor Tim here bringing you today's Kingdom Key. We are going to be reading out of Matthew chapter 22 and Matthew chapter 28 today. But let's start with Matthew chapter 22 on verse 35. And it says, one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and foremost commandment. The second one is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and prophets. So Jesus is basically saying the greatest commandment is to love God. Now, this is from the Shema. This can be found in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy. And it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. So, to love the Lord with all your heart is from the Hebrew word levav, which means the seed of who you are. It's not just this uh, organ pumping in your chest. Actually, the Hebrews had no separate concept for brain, for mind. Uh, so that kind of became one word that just means every decision you make, everything that you do, every thought that you think comes from the heart. So we love God with all that we are. To love the Lord your God with all our soul is basically, a lot of people think that soul is an immaterial part of ourselves, but soul in the Hebrew literally means you, everything that you are. And then to love the Lord your God with all your strength, it's the Hebrew term that means muchness. Now, it sounds kind of silly, but you kind of get it too, muchness. Just all of your effort, everything that you are, all of your strength. He says, this is the greatest and foremost commandment, but the second one's like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. See, there is no way that we can love others until we learn to love God because God is love. Love comes from God. And this idea of love that we have in modern culture today is really not love. That's just a feeling. Love is not a feeling. Love is an action. Love is an action, according to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, that keeps no record of wrongs, that puts others before yourself, that uh, will let yourself bear the burden of the expense at the verse of hurting someone else. That's true love. And I really believe that's one of the greatest kingdom principles. And love is probably the greatest kingdom currency that's lacking, not only in America, but possibly even in most of our Christians today, is that we need to love each other because love keeps no record of wrongs. Love is incapable of being offended. Love is incapable of hurting another person. Love is always about the other person and making the other person before ourselves. So, there was a man that tried to justify himself in a similar story of this. And he said, well, who is my neighbor? And Jesus defined the neighbor as anyone who is along your path who has been hurt. Uh, read the parable of the Good Samaritan, and that'll give you a good example of what love is all about. Because the religious community, they passed by on the other side of the road, but there was this Samaritan that saw a Jew in peril, and they were actually of different ethnicities. And ultimately, he ended up helping him. And he was the one that was the neighbor. So the neighbor doesn't just mean the person that lives next door to you. It means anyone that's in your path that has a need. Now, real quickly, let's go to Matthew chapter 28. And we'll close with this thought. Because the greatest expression of love that you can give to your neighbor is to share Jesus with them. Matthew chapter 18, or I'm sorry, 28 verses 18 through 20. says, Jesus came up and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you, and lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Now, what's really interesting about this text is that go and make disciples of all nations, it almost sounds like you're supposed to pack up and go somewhere. But that verb, go, in the Greek is a present tense verb, which means in your going. So if you were to read it like that, wherever you go, make disciples. So that means that you can go to Walmart, you can go uh, to school, you can go to work, you can go to family events, and you have a responsibility to express the greatest measure of love by sharing Jesus with people. Now, Jesus is not something you use like a baseball bat to hit people over and tell them about their sin. The greatest way to express the gospel is by loving people and sharing hope with them. We let God clean up the mess. So there's your kingdom key from the day. God bless you. Keep calm. And Jesus on.